Mom, you would not believe what's happening with my... Did you see this? You came home to watch TV? No, look. Is that Cole? Oh my God, I can't believe he's doing Look at Me. I'm a good guy routine on prime time. Phoebe must be thrilled. Well, she should be. The elder said the woman he saved, Melissa, is a future white lighter. And if he hadn't saved her, she would never get the chance to do the good that'll earn her her wings. Well, speaking of white lighters, I dreamt an animated musical last night. Is that normal? Normal? Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, which I know you haven't, my body, my thoughts, my dreams have all gone wonky. Well, I'm sure that it's just normal pregnancy stuff. I mean, we can talk about this later if you want to. Oh, I think you should talk about it now. Okay, well, I think this attack on Melissa was demonic, and the elders want me to watch after her until she's safe. Fine. Go. Not the crying thing. Leo, I have growing powers inside of me, powers that I do not understand, and the only person who does understand them never has time to talk. Add that to raging hormones, and I guarantee you I am absolutely entitled to do the crying thing. <clears throat> okay, is that normal? I am sure that it's just all this arguing has got the baby upset. Leo, the baby is an inch long. All this arguing is upsetting the mommy. Okay, honey, look, I'm sure that it's nothing to worry about. Right now, I need to watch after Melissa, and you need to figure out who's after her. I'm sorry. You want me to orb his butt back here for you? No, he's right. Innocence come first. And besides, the smell of his aftershave was making me want to vomit a little. Where are you going? To Daryl, to see if the police found anything at the crime scene that might help. OK, not to sound too simplistic, but if she's a white lighter to be, doesn't that mean that we're after a dark lighter? No, dark lighters use poison arrows. Uh, they don't usually set fires. Well, why would a demon want to kill her anyway? I don't know, but the sooner we find out, the sooner I'll probably be able to finish a conversation with my husband. <sighs> I'm not here. Go away. Ah, oh, if it isn't the little wife. Actually, it's not. My marriage is over, all except for the paperwork. Don't let your readers hear you say that. Who wants to take advice from the woman who's divorcing Superman? Elise, he's no hero. And if you're here to make me give an interview, that's exactly what I'll say. Which is why you will be getting the interview instead. Excuse me? No, I'm not a reporter. No, but you're the wife. It's called human interest. Call your husband and get an exclusive with him. Consider this a personal favor. By favor, I mean order. Elise. Woman to woman, OK? Cole was the love of my life. And I'm finally learning to live my life without him. Now, calling him for a favor would be opening up a can of worms that I have worked so hard to close. Woman to woman, if you're still describing this guy as the love of your life, then the can is open, the worms are out, and you may as well use him to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> 